All right, so I've been waiting a couple of months here to do this test. Um, common problem with the Toyotas, Lexus, they use low tension oil rings on the, uh, on the pistons. These engines generally have a 5,000 mile oil change interval. And they generally don't build up a whole bunch of deposits, but it only takes a little bit to get the piston ring to start sticking. So a common problem, especially cars that aren't driven all the time, a uh, little bit of carbon in there and these engines will start consuming a little bit of oil. This particular engine is on a 07 LS 460, has just over 200,000 miles on it and started noticing about the 120,000 mile range that it was consuming roughly about a quarter oil every 1,500 to 2,000 miles. It's within factory spec, but it is very worrisome. These engines do have 10 quarts of oil in them, so they have a ton of oil. So if you go down oil, it's not the end of the world, but in a smaller engine, like the four cylinder versions of the Toyota, you know, the Toyota engines, you know, they only take four, four and a half quarts. So using a quart of oil can be a problem in 5,000 miles. If you're using a quart every 1,500 to 2,000 miles, you might actually have only half your oil in your engine if you're not checking it on a regular basis, which unfortunately a lot of people don't. So we're looking for a solution here. And the solution that we found was the Valvoline Restore and Protect. And you, I wanted to do a, a very thorough video on this just because, you know, snake oil, everyone says, oh, my oil does this and whatever. Um, but we wanted to see what this would do to this engine. So this engine, when we started this, had 190,000 miles on it. We've done two oil changes since then, and we noticed a drastic change. What was that change? It stopped consuming oil. Right now, it's about 202,000 miles. It's 2,000 miles since the oil change, and the oil level is still full. And we'll see here the oil condition right now. So it's been about 2,000 miles. We have to change every five. But you can kind of see the oil is still very, very, very clean. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus in here for you. A little bit clearer. But look how clean that oil is. Before, usually about this time, this oil is starting to look black and brown. So very, very intrigued by what's happening here. Um, the package that they use is a formulation of what they call uh, liquid shield, which is prevents the future deposit, uh, future deposits of uh, formation. And then they also have an actual active clean agent technology, which is proprietary to Valvoline. They don't release it. They don't say what's in it. I'm guessing it's something with boron maybe or something. They say it's a custom milk molecule. I don't really care what it is. What I do care about is I don't want, I want this engine to last a long time. I want it to stop consuming oil. So two oil changes. Now we stop consuming oil. Very, very interesting. Uh, second thing, you know, especially with the LS460s and some of these other engines, you know, make sure you don't have an oil leak before you kind of go to something like this, because this isn't going to help you if you have an oil leak. Uh, we went through this engine to make sure there were no problems. This engine does not have any oil leaks. We replaced the uh, high pressure uh, fuel pump um, seals, you know, four or five years ago, and those are still not leaking. So we have no active leaks. So it means that this situation had everything to do with probably some ring uh, tension getting built up with carbon and then oil working its way past the piston and being burned by the engine. And we did pull the spark plugs and we did kind of see some formation of some ash, which is usually a good indicator that oil is getting into the combustion chamber. Haven't pulled the spark plug since then, but we don't have oil consumption anymore. That's kind of a dead giveaway that we have a, a fix there. So we have a bore scope. This one's from Vivor. The nice thing about this one here, and you'll see, is I can um, turn this knob here and it moves around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside the oil cap here. We're gonna take a look and see what the inside of the engine looks like now. You can see there's no formations in here. I haven't cleaned this or anything. And you can kind of see what's going on in the engine. But again, let's stick the bore scope in and let's take a look at what this, what's going on here. I will tell you, I am thoroughly impressed. This engine has 200,000 miles on it. Look how clean that is. When I did stick this in here, and I really regret not taking a video of it, there was a little bit of like that hazing, that brown haze that's on here. And you can see this thing looks like brand spanking new inside. Holy snot. Um, really, really exciting to see how clean the journals are, how clean everything is in here. All right, guys, I'm going to have to say this is 100% worth the money. 
this is cleaning the inside of the engine. If it's that clean in there, we have to know that the cylinder walls are not being affected by the piston rings not sealing up against them because of carbon. And just to show you, know, show you proof, because I know some people are like, well, maybe that engine doesn't have 200,000 miles on it. Maybe you're just playing games here. Uh, let's just jump in the car here and I'll show you. So we'll turn the car on. And just to show you here, we have 202,000 miles on the car and 1,900 miles since the last oil change. So there's your, your proof positive. I'm not playing games here with this, but wow, that is something else. Um, we also did this and I'll show you in another video on a 01 GMC Yukon with a 5.3 LS engine in it. And what those are also very notorious again for getting carbon buildup in the, um, the piston rings. We're gonna bring that video to you as soon as I bring that truck back. That one was consuming about a quarter oil every thousand miles. It had gotten really bad to the point where we thought we were gonna to have to place the motor on it. Again, put the Valvoline in there we haven't been consuming oil <laughs> I'll have to show you that one that that's only had two oil that's also had two oil changes on it I'm very pleased with this product again this is 520 in this engine the other engine the Yukon has 530 um, but again it's it's removing the carbon and with that said you know when we remove the oil filter I again I wish I would have took video it, it still it had the normal wear and tear in it but this protects you from over cleaning too quickly you know a lot of times you can't use oil change flushes because what ends up happening is they work too well and you end up with a bunch of debris inside of your oil filter where it's no longer getting stopped by the oil filter and it'll go into the bypass and now all that debris goes back into the engine into your pit you know your your uh, your journals of your crankshaft your journals of your cam and you, you have all sorts of problems this is a more gentle cleaner, and this is an oil that you can use all the time and not just have to use to clean out your engine. This, again, is showing me that one, it will clean the engine, two, it has liquid shield where it's gonna stop the formation of new uh, carbon buildup in the engine. Highly, highly recommend. It's only a slight price premium for this. Walmart sells this for $24 for a five quart jug. It's pretty much right on par with the mobile ones and the and the casseroles and all that of the world. Highly, highly recommend at this point. Um, going to come back with a follow-up video here. I'm gonna get my scope and get closer in there. If you guys are interested about the scope, it's available from Vivor. They are clearancing them out for like 60 bucks. Um, and it, it has a battery charger and everything with it. But this is nice because you can actually be your own detective here. Stick this bill scope in there before, take a look at your engine looks like, do a couple oil changes, and you'll get an idea. And also, proof is in the pudding. If you're not consuming oil anymore, your problem is solved. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share. Uh, we're looking for more subscribers, more content like this. Um, I will also put links for the oil and links for the, uh, the scope. You can do your own detective. It's very inexpensive to go in there and kind of take a look what your engine looks like. Know if you're consuming oil. Make your engine last longer. This engine has 200,000 miles on it. Purge like a kitten, no major issues, it's a Lexus. But again, the problem with these engines is when they start consuming oil and people aren't watching the fact that oil level is going down, that's when you cause major damage to an engine, especially with higher mileage. Cars are super expensive nowadays. You don't wanna to have to buy another car if you don't have to. This is cheap insurance, highly recommend it. Look at the details in the, uh, the comment, uh, the, sorry, in the description. Like, subscribe, and share again. Have a great day.